Hello everyone so today i am going to teach you about phagocytosis in the detail that is a uh, that is a topic from the inflammation most important topic so friends whenever microbe dead cell or foreign particle enter into our body you know they will induce a several response in the leukocyte so they will induce a response in the leukocyte which is known by the name leukocyte activation and by leukocyte activation you know microbes bacteria viruses will be removed from our body and one of the most important response in the leukocyte activation is phagocytosis so phagocytosis is one of the most important response in our body that will remove the bacteria and the microbes you know and the foreign particle all right so basically phagocytosis process is in the three step first of all whenever foreign particle or bacteria enter into our body they will recognize and they will attach to the leukocyte you know to the neutrophil or macrophage this particle will be attached after recognition after recognition and attachment you know the leukocyte engulf that particle and after engulfment the leukocyte will do the killing and degradation of the microbe so that is the three step of phagocytosis and you know killing and degradation mainly occur by reactive oxygen species so let's see the first step that is recognition and attachment first of all make it clear that you know a uh, macrophage and the neutrophil are the two main phagocytic cell right so whenever the microbe any necrotic cell present in our body you know they will be recognized by leukocyte receptor the mac the macrophage and neutrophil having a corresponding receptor for the recognition of the microbe or the foreign particle right so there are six type of such recognition receptor present over the leukocyte uh, you know six type of receptors are present all right the first receptor that will recognize the microbe is toll like receptor tlr receptor the second receptor for the microbe or foreign particle recognition is gpcr that is g protein coupled receptor you know it recognize on and formyl methionine residues that will also do the function of chemotaxis right so chemotaxis and phagocytosis are somewhat interlinked you know it's not surprising that both are interlinked all right then you know uh, leukocyte having receptor for cytokine recognition like that of interferon gamma you know by which they can produce prostaglandins and erythronic acids manos receptors are also present another receptor for the recognition is scavenger receptor you know which will recognize the ldl cholesterol particles and finally there is a presence of opsonin receptor over the leukocyte for killing of microbe for the recognition so this was the six receptor present over the leukocyte for microbe recognition all right now see friends this is very interesting that you know if microbe coated by specific protein the name is opsonin then you know it can be easily recognized by the leukocyte you know leukocyte can phagocytic cell can easily recognize the microbe if it is engulf if it is coated by opsonin protein so phagocytosis will occur easily if opsonization of microbe occurs so there are three basically opsonin protein you know it is of three type first is igg antibody that will recognize by the leukocyte by the presence of fc receptor you know it will recognize by fc receptor of leukocyte second and second opsonin is c3b that is a complement breakdown product you know it will be recognized by complement receptor 1 and 3 that is present on the leukocyte and the third opsonin is manos binding manos binding lactin which will be recognized by c1q receptor present on the leukocyte all right now let's see engulfment of particle after recognition by this receptor you know microbe will be engulfed by phagocytic cell and you know it is interesting that you know phagocytosis depend upon the polymerization of actin filament on the leukocyte why i am telling that why polymerization of actin filament required so see friends this is the bacteria right so after recognition you know after recognition by the receptors actin filament polymerization occurs and so that you know cytoplasm cytoplasm of leukocyte will extend around it you know cytoplasm of leukocyte will extend around it and they will form a pseudopod 
which will surround the particle you know they will form the pseudopod and finally after surrounding the particle they will ingest it so that is all occur by polymerization of actin filament yeah you know this is the pseudopod formation around the bacteria you can see in the image so that was the pseudopod formation and after pseudopod formation finally it will ingest the particle and they will form a phagosome so in this way a phagosome will form now friends in the macrophage or in the neutrophil this phagosome will bind with powerful organelle that is a lysosome it will bind with lysosome and they will form a phagolysosome see this is the phagosome it will bind with lysosome so together they will this is the lysosome right so together they both will form a phagolysosome they will form a phagolysosome and now onwards the phagocytic cell can do the killing and degradation so after engulfment third final step of removal of bacteria is by killing and degradation so that will occur by microbicidal agents so basically there are four microbicidal agent that can kill the bacteria viruses like that of parasite like that of microbe you know the first one is reactive oxygen species that is also known by the name free radical second one is reactive nitrogen species right third one is lysosomal enzyme which is a powerful microbicidal substance you know it will kill the virus bacteria effectively lysosomal enzyme then finally fourth one is granules of the neutrophil and macrophage will do the function of killing and degradation all right so first we will talk about the reactive oxygen species how they form so you know basically there are three type of reactive oxygen species the one is superoxide superoxide anion second one is hydrogen peroxide and the third one is hydroxyl ion these three are the reactive oxygen species or free radical among that you know superoxide anion and the hydrogen peroxide are very weak while hydroxyl radical oh minus is a highly reactive free radical which can kill the bacteria or viruses effectively all right and you know this all oxidative reaction occur in the neutrophil during the phagocytosis process that is known by the name respiratory burst you know it's given the name respiratory burst so that is responsible for killing of microbes all right now let's see how the reactive oxygen species will form so over the phagocytic membrane you know there is a presence of one enzyme that is nadph oxidase they will oxidize the nadph into nadp and because of that you know the oxygen will get converted into superoxide anion so in this way first free radical will form that is superoxide anion but it is a very weak we know so you know you know what uh, superoxide dismutase will convert it into h2o2 the superoxide dismutase will convert it into h2o2 and now first of all this hydrogen peroxide can be converted into oh minus hydroxyl radical by the fenton reaction or haberweis reaction by these two reaction it can convert it into hydroxyl radical second way is that you know hydrogen peroxide can get converted into hocl that is hypochlorite which is a most powerful microbicidal agent and this conversion occur because of presence of myeloperoxidase enzyme in the neutrophil in the presence of chloride bromide or iodide so in this way you know h2o2 npo halide system will form a hocl which is a very powerful microbicidal agent and they can kill the microbe very effectively so that is a most important powerful system in our body oh minus also yes it can kill the microbes but hocl is killing the microbe very effectively by the two process halogenation or by the protein lipid peroxidation now what do we mean by halogenation so halogenation means addition of halogen like that of chloride in the microbe you know it's a chemical reaction where the halogen like that of chloride will be added all right now let's see something about reactive nitrogen species so how they form so you know microbial product or the interferon gamma like that of cytokine will activate a macrophage and after macrophage activation you know 
there is a formation there is a induction of one enzyme within the macrophage that is inducible nitric oxide synthetase it will convert l arginine into nitric oxide and this nitric oxide will react with superoxide anion to form a peroxy nitrate you know it will react with superoxide free radical to form a peroxy nitrite that is also a very powerful microbicidal agent so there are three powerful microbicidal agent hydroxyl radical hocl and peroxy nitrite right these all are the powerful microbicidal agent which will kill which will kill the microbe all right now third powerful microbicidal agent is lysosomal granules you know lysosomal granules contain acid hydrolase or elastase which which can kill the microbes all right now fourth one is neutrophil and macrophage granules they can also kill the microbes so now let's see which are the granules of neutrophil so there basically there are two main type of granules in the neutrophil the one is primary azeurophic granule and second one is secondary small specific granule so which are the secondary small granules so they are the lysozyme you know neutrophil secondary small specific granules contain these substances you know lysozyme lactoferrin collagenase then gelatinase you know they will contain the plasminogen activator uh, they can contain histaminase they can contain alkaline phosphatase you know these are the substances present in the secondary small specific granule while in the primary azeurophic granule mainly you will have myeloperoxidase defensin then lysozyme then acid hydrolase then in the primary azeurophic granule there is also presence of neutral protease like that of elastase cathepsin g proteinase 3 and collagenase so remember friends reactive oxygen species reactive nitrogen species lysosomal granules and neutrophil granules are the powerful microbicidal agent now see friends in the neutrophil as we have discussed there is a presence of elastase or protease so you know if the neutrophil function is unchecked if the function is not checked then what will happen you know this substance in the neutrophil can harm the normal tissue as well during the removal of bacteria or virus you know normal tissue also can be damaged but their effect will be counteract or neutralized by the anti protease that is present in our body and in our body alpha 1 antitrypsin and alpha 2 microglobulin are the two main anti protease substance so if you have the deficiency of antitrypsin deficiency anti protease deficiency you know then this type of patient is vulnerable for the damage by the elastase and so emphysema like disease can be developed all right now let's see something about shediac higashi syndrome what is this syndrome so you know it's a autosomal recessive disorder and uh, you know in in this condition there is a defective fusion of the phagosome with lysosome so you can imagine that if phagosome doesn't fuse with lysosome then lysosomal granule cannot work you know if they don't fuse then lysosomal granule cannot be released so you know there will be defective microbial cleaning so patient have more chance of infection in sedia kigashi syndrome the patient will have neutropenia you know the patient will have neutro neutrophil with giant granules you know in this disorder patient will have abnormality in the melanocyte as well so there will be albinism that is because of abnormality in the melanocyte right and you know there could be presence of no defect as well in the shedia kigashi syndrome and one gene is associated with this syndrome you know bleeding disorder can also occur one gene is associated with this syndrome that is lyst all right so friends i have taken this uh, beautiful schematic diagram from the robins book of pathology now you can see that this image clearly demonstrate how the phagocytosis occurs in our body so as i have discussed you know there are basically three step of phagocytosis first step is that whenever the bacteria enter into our body you know it will be recognized by the leukocyte particularly by the neutrophil and macrophage by their leuco by their receptors you know they will recognize the microbe now after recognition there will be engulfment you know the phagocytic membrane will jeep around the microbe 
they will engulf the particle and they will form a phagosome so the phagosome is a microbe containing engulf membrane you know the engulf material will form a phagosome now this phagosome will fuse with lysosomes and so they will form phagolysosome so that now lysosomal enzymes can kill the microbe so final stage is the killing and degradation of microbe so these are the three step of phagocytosis recognition engulfment and killing and degradation and usually killing and degradation done by reactive oxygen species or by the reactive nitrogen species we will dis uh, we have already discussed it previously all right now this particular image demonstrate how the microbe recognize you know it is recognized by different receptors we have already talked about it you know this image is also from the robin's book see the microbe can be recognized by phagocytic receptor you know cytokine receptor toll like receptor or g protein coupled receptor this g protein coupled receptor usually do the function of chemocyte chemotaxis you know they will uh, they will initiate a unidirectional movement of leukocyte toward the site of injury by activation of toll like receptor you know phospol uh, phospholipase enzyme can be activated and you know they can uh, they can amplify the inflammatory response by the production of arachidinic acid metabolites like that of uh, you know prostaglandins and like that of neutral leukotrienes all right this uh, phagocytic receptor obviously will do the function of phagocytosis so that we have discussed in our today's lecture thank you very much guys this is all about the phagocytosis i hope you have enjoyed this video i will be right back with a new video till then take care and bye bye thank you very much